Hi, everybody. This tweet just caught my attention. This is from Greg Brockman of OpenAI, where he says, California State University is becoming the first AI-powered university system, with ChatGPT EDU being rolled out to 460,000 students and over 63,000 staff and faculty. So over half a million people are going to get access to ChatGPT EDU across the whole Cal State University system. Now, I've lived in California my whole life. I didn't go to a Cal State school. I went to University of California schools. But I do know that the Cal State system, as it says here, it's the largest four-year public university system. And this, to me, as someone who went to college and then grad school and it took 10 years of my life to do that, this is a huge, huge shift in terms of introducing AI into higher public education. Now, I think it would be a popular decision. I don't know for certain, but I, if I was a student, I would be pretty excited about this because, as it says here, this is going to help students connect with apprenticeship programs so they can enter the workforce and have AI skills that are in demand. It, it really gives me a sense that universities are now more open, at least Cal State is more open to letting this happen, letting AI enter its curriculum in a more integrated way with the partnership of OpenAI and other industry partners. Now, because Cal State is doing this, I can easily imagine other university systems saying, oh my gosh, you know, if Cal State is doing this, in order for us to stay competitive, we're going to have to allow our students to do this. So who knows what's going to come next in terms of are the University of California is going to get this same kind of treatment? Are other states going to try and set up the same kind of partnership with OpenAI to get access to ChatGPT EDU? How is this going to affect the way education is done in this country? I think it's a long time coming. Personally, as someone who was, again, in college and grad school, I think there are major reforms that are needed to bolster the education at all levels. And I just don't know how everyone's going to feel about it, right? 63,000 staff and faculty. I mean, when I was in graduate school, I knew many professors who would be absolutely mortified to know that students were using ChatGPT to do their work. Granted, I finished grad school only, I think, six months after the release of the very first ChatGPT model, so times have changed significantly since then, even though it's been less than two years, which is crazy to say. I think this decision is going to have such large downstream effects in the future that I can't exactly foresee, but I am hopeful that it's going to really force educators and professors to change their approach to how they teach their classes now that AI is going to be omnipresent on the campus. And my hope is that professors are going to get a bit more creative with the way they structure assignments, midterms, and final exams, because with students having access to ChatGPT, it just seems like, okay, maybe giving them homework off of portals like Mastering Physics or whatever other online portal there is to give, for example, STEM homework assignments. That's what I used when I was in college or, or WebAssign. I don't know what it's called anymore. But this maybe will probably shift the focus to grades being based mostly on examinations. And I think we'll just free students up to have more creative time outside of doing hours and hours of homework each night. But let's be real here. ChatGPT can do most assignments that college students in the lower division classes of college can probably do, in my opinion, based on what I've seen it do just here on my channel. And so I think it's a good thing that the educational system will evolve to accommodate this and that students are going to become more familiar with AI tools. I think this is kind of part of that iterative deployment that OpenAI and others advocate in the sense that we have to gradually integrate these technologies at a pace that is comfortable for people. And by letting students and faculty at the Cal State system have access to ChatGPT, this could 
easily carry over to people who they know, right? They can show their parents, hey, mom, hey, dad, I'm using ChatGPT now. Look at how it helps me learn. You know, I think this is, I think this is overall a, a good thing, but I can already imagine the backlash there might be from some faculty, at least from the University of California system, if it does end up getting adopted there. I can't imagine it not within the next five years, and that's being generous with that timeline, because I think that if school systems are not going to let their students gain access to tools like this, like ChatGPT EDU, it's going to put them at a serious disadvantage. So anyways, that was my very, very initial reaction to this announcement. I am generally in favor of something like this happening. It's coming whether we like it or not in terms of artificial intelligence. And I think instead of trying to be Luddites or try and just ground ourselves where we are and stop trying to adapt to the changes, I think it's best that we just try to understand this technology and how to leverage it to the best of our ability because it's just going to keep improving over time and that it's going to be part of our day-to-day -day lives, much like how the internet is now, how the smartphone is, and other technologies preceding them. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was really short, but I just want to give my initial reactions to this announcement. And I'll be back with more videos in the future. So take it easy, and I'll see you next time.